Hi everybody, welcome back to another weekly craft video. My name's Tori, I'm your Makerspace Librarian, and this week we are going to be doing string art. A string heart art. String art heart project. Um, so this is really cute. You can use it as decoration in your home or you can give it to a loved one. We actually have two different sizes of this um, craft this week just because we have different size materials here at the library right now. So you're either going to get an 8x10 um, size or a 5x7 size heart that's going to be about this size here. It's not going to be on this red background, it's going to be on the white background. Just like this heart here, just a little bit smaller. But it doesn't matter which size you get. Um, you're going to follow the same steps and the process is essentially exactly the same. So um, I hope you enjoy this activity. Let's get started. Craft kits this week are going to contain some foam sheets just like these. A printout of a heart that you're going to use scissors and cut out. Some red thread and some pins. At home you're going to need glue and a pair of scissors. Some optional tools are a ruler and a thimble. dry you can cut out your heart so that it looks like this. Once the glue is dry you can begin placing your pins. So you're gonna take your heart and try your best to center it in the middle of your foam sheets unless you don't want it to be in the center unless you want it to be off to the side. You could do that actually you could put the heart here off to the side and maybe write something a name or a message here. It's totally up to you. You can do whatever you want. But I'm going to place my heart in the center here. And to get started, I'm just going to place four pins, two up here and two down here that are going to sort of help to hold my heart in place. I don't want to put the pins through the paper. I just want to put them right outside the paper, right next to the paper. All right, so with these four pins placed, it's sort of holding my heart in place even though the pins aren't actually pinning the paper heart to the foam boards. So I've laid down my first few pins. I'm going to try to keep about a centimeter in between each pin as I work my way around the heart. And before I continue on, I'm going to push these pins down through one more layer of the foam sheet. This is where the thimble or the ruler are going to come into place. You can use your fingers to push the pins down, but after doing that a few times, it's really going to start to hurt your finger. So I'm going to use this thimble to help me carefully push the pins down through the sheet. If you don't have a thimble at home, use the flat side of a ruler or really anything that's kind of flat like this to just help you push the pins further down into the foam board. It doesn't have to be perfect, just do your best to keep an even amount of space 
in between each of the pins. And then after I lay down a few, I just like to go back. I hold the base of the pin that I want to push further down to keep it straight. And I just push them one at a time deeper into the foam board while holding them straight so that they don't bend and go crooked. so that there's about a centimeter of the pin still sticking up out of the foam board. You don't want to push them any further in than that. Um, I don't have an equal number of pins on either side. That's what I was aim I'm aiming for an equal number on both sides, but I think this one has 34 and this one has 36. I think it'll be okay. Um, also, I said I was aiming to keep the pins about a centimeter apart but they are closer than that. That's okay though. Um, anywhere that you, that you land in that area is just fine. I can remove my paper heart now, if I can get it out. And now it's time to start stringing the heart. I'm gonna grab the tail end of my string here and go like I'm gonna tie a knot. And instead of pulling it tight, I'm just going to leave that little loop there. And I don't want to put it right on um, my the point of the heart right here. I'm just going to put it on the one next to it and pull tight. We can trim off this little tail later. If you've done string art before, you can make whatever pattern you want. If you've seen something online that you want to try, go for it. I'm just going to show you how I'm going to string my heart. So I'm going to take this string, since I've done, um, since I wrapped it around the pin that's to the left of the point, I'm going to bring it up here to the pin that's to the right of this point here and bring it back and wrap it around the one next to the one I started with and bring it back up and do it around that next one. And I'm just gonna go back and forth just like that until I go all the way around the heart like this. is just go like I'm gonna tie a knot and then instead of pulling it all the way tight I'm gonna slip the loop over the last pin and pull tight 
Now the last thing that I'm gonna do before I trim these edges is I wanna put a little bit of glue on my knots, my starting and ending knot, just to make sure that they hold tight and hold in place.